I'm not from Bali. I'm not from Paris. I'm not from Milan. Yeah, but I'm from you, Chicago. Yeah, but weren't you originally from New York? Yeah, but that doesn't make any difference. I renounced that place. When did you renounce it? I renounced it when I realized that if I was to start an improvisational cabaret theater in New York, it would fail miserably. I was so smart in those days. I went to Chicago where, after working with some interesting people for two years, it was an instantaneous success. Andy Duncan pointed out, we were cultural bandits. He said that, quote, we were cultural bandits. We didn't care about Hollywood or Broadway. My greatest Failure was Compass, which turned into a vaudeville routine of stand-up comedy. And my greatest success was Compass, which was a way to sweep aside the morality of the Eisenhower regime and come into the Kennedy era you know, clean. We came into it clean. We were ready for Kennedy when he came. People should relate to each other communicate, they should have a way of forming groups, the group should have a way of being trained, and the trainees should have a way of putting out the statement, the values of the group, in many different forms. And you do something together, it's incredible, it's a discovery. We didn't know it, but this group has these values, and they want it to be this way, and this is the beginning, this is the middle, and this is the end. And then you put it up in front of a group of them and their friends and family and you play it back on a video projector all happens within a few hours. I think you enrich a few lives, maybe not a lot, just a few, just a few dozen lives are enriched. I, I think that's worth doing, you know. Even if you don't make a fortune, I think it's worth doing that.